Hello everyone, my name is Miss Maria and today we are going to be talking about three different kinds of dinosaurs. Can anybody guess what three dinosaurs we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about uh, Brachiosaurus, which is number one, the Tyrannosaurus rex, and the Triceratops. So in case you don't know what these dinosaurs are or what they look like, I'm going to show you. So I'm going to share my screen here. And we're going to look at the Brachiosaurus. This is the Brachiosaurus. He has a really long neck and four legs. And it looks like he has like a little nub on the top of his head. And uh, so this is the Brachiosaurus. And how you say Brachiosaurus in Spanish is Brachiosaurio. Brachiosaurio. Okay. The next one is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This Tyrannosaurus Rex, they all have small little arms and a really big head and big feet. So they walk on their two back feet and then their small arms. Uh, they don't use their arms for walking, but they use their arms to grab things or whatever they need to do. And how you say Tyrannosaurus Rex in Spanish is Tyrannosaurio Rex. All right, and the last one is Triceratops. The Triceratops has three horns on its head, two up near its eyes and one on its nose uh, or near its nose. And um, what looks like a big crown on their head and they walk on four legs. And how you say Triceratops in Spanish is the same as English, Triceratops. All right. So now, oh, I'm gonna stop sharing. Now we're going to read this book and it's going to tell you guys all about different, different um, dinosaurs. All the, the three dinosaurs. This book is called Dino Clay. So first is the Brachiosaurus. As you can see here, the Brachiosaurus, I'm trying to make it to where you can see. Here you go. The Brachiosaurus is the same size as a long plant or plane. It's as long as a plane. You see here, its tail to its head, as long as a plane. That is a really long dinosaur. So, the Brachiosaurus lived in herds and grazed from leaves high up in the trees. Its long neck would allow it to eat from many trees without having to move its feet. Now that's being lazy, huh? <laughs> Once it became an adult, Brachiosaurus was too large to become prey. Despite its tiny head, so it was safe from toothy predators. Brachiosaurus fossils were found in the western United States just more than a century ago. Scientists believe adults could have lived to be a hundred years old. That's way older than your grandparents. So Brachiosauruses can live for a really long time. And so they're as long as the plane. Okay, you see that? And then you see down here, down here, it, they're as tall as, if you can see it, they're as tall as a power pole. See how tall that is? Those poles that um, have the wires on them that you can see along the street sometimes. They're as tall as those. That is pretty crazy. And then next is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is as tall as a two-story house. So if anybody lives in a two-story house, they can see 
that the Tyrannosaurus Rex is just as tall as it, as their house. I live in a two-story house. And then the Tyrannosaurus Rex is as long as an RV. If anyone knows what an RV is, it's like a long bus that usually like has beds in it and um, you can take it camping. It's as long as one of those. And then at the bottom, um, oh, and it also says it's as heavy as up to 18 polar bears. Do you see all these polar bears down at the bottom? If I can show you all these polar bears down right there, right there. All those polar bears, it's as heavy as all of those polar bears. And we're gonna read about it. it says the T-Rex is the granddaddy of scary dinosaurs. It's a predator. A predator means it um, preys on other animals to eat. Um, so yeah, uh, the T-Rex would make lunch of most animals with the skull as wide as a truck and a jaw and a strong jaw that could down 500 pounds of food in one bite. That is a lot of food. Um, the T-Rex could eat a small triceratops in just 24 mouthfuls. It would eat it would even eat a smaller T-Rex. In fact, its jaw was the strongest of any land animal that ever lived. That is wild. Even worse, T-Rex had good eyesight. So it would be hard to hide from it. And worse yet, it was fast thanks to its strong legs and long tail. Plus it was also smart. So it could outwit its prey. If you, Think it's, and if you think its short front arms were nothing to fear, then you didn't notice the claws at the end of each one. So not only were they super big and weighed a ton, they were fast and they were smart and that's what helped them get their food. So that way they could eat to survive. Um, all right, and then the next animal, does anyone remember the next dinosaur? That's right, a triceratops. So a triceratops um, is as tall as your bedroom ceiling. So however tall your bedroom ceiling is, that is how tall the, this tricer uh, triceratops is, or some triceratops. And then, it's as long as two minivans, right down here, right here, down here. See the triceratops laying on top of the two minivans? One, two, it's as long as two minivans. <clears throat> um, this says with one short horn on its snout and two long horns on its head, its name means three horned face. So that's why it's called triceratops. <laughs> Because tri is for three, which it has three horns. So its name means three horned face. And the triceratops is as heavy as up to seven big sharks. So here are the seven big sharks right there. You see all those sharks? All those big heavy sharks? That's how heavy a triceratops is. So this says, with its three horns and large size, Triceratops only look mean and scary. It was, it really was just a gentle plant eater. A plant eater means he only eats plants. So like all this grass behind me, that's what he would be eating, not other animals like the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So that is a difference between the two, these last two dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Triceratops. Um, its huge skull, horns, and frill around its neck helped Triceratops defend itself when it would charge at predators such as T-Rex. Much shorter than Brachiosaurus, Triceratops used its bird-like beak and 800 small teeth to, to eat plants on the ground and leaves from bushes. Um, 
fossils show young triceratops lived in herds. A herd is um, animals that travel together in packs. So like a ton of triceratops would travel together and that's their herd. Um, it says maybe so they could better defend themselves against predators, but adult triceratops live below. So many, so many triceratops fossils have been found in the Western United States that it has been named the Wyoming State Dinosaur. Um, so this little, this little crown looking thing around its head, he used that to help defend himself from other dinosaurs like the T-Rex over here. See, he's trying going to defend himself from that dinosaur. And that's how he protects himself. So now I want you guys to think about these three dinosaurs that we talked about. The Brachiosaurus, which was the first one with the really long neck. And what was he compared to? Oh, the length of a plane, okay. Um, the second dinosaur, which was the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which was compared to the, oh, I'm trying to remember. Oh yes, as tall as a two-story house, okay. And the third, dinosaur, which was the Triceratops, which was compared to a, if I can find it, oh, too many vans, the, the, as long as too many vans, okay? So I want you guys to pick between the three of those dinosaurs and make it out of Play-Doh that your teacher will provide for you. So make the dinosaur the best you can out of Play-Doh and then I want you to turn to a friend and tell them why you chose that dinosaur and why it was your favorite out of the three and then um, I hope you guys enjoyed this book and learning about these three dinosaurs and I hope you have fun making your Play-Doh creations and I can't wait to see it have a great day. Bye.